Greetings, blessed hearts of the angelic ground crew team. Happy Valentine's Day of the Red Solar Earth, Kin 217, Harmonic 55 of the Crystal Matrix. Where do we begin here today? <laughs> what a day, what a night, what a life. We went through, as many of you have experienced last night, a major timeline shift for myself. I think I blacked out around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Went into a deep, still state. Jumped into a galactic mission, and sometime between 2.22 and 3.33 a.m., I flew up out of my bed. And as I recalled last night, as I started my transmission for yesterday's video, my throat chakra was opening. Well, sometime after 2.22, as I came back into this realm from the higher dimensions, I don't want to be too graphic, but sweat was pouring out my, my throat chakra, right where the vocal cords are, the vocal box, and my heart was going through these intense, pulsing, really rapid, quick heartbeat. So as I anchored and ground into the earth and went into a meditative state, anchoring in these energies as these downloads and activations were coming in, made some tea and grounded into the earth and felt this pulsing in the solar plexus, like an expansion and a twisting, a turning. It was very intense energy that that solar and the fire from within, some shamans say the ascension activation is burning from the fires from within and I felt them rising up from the lower Dantian up through the heart center so that the say the sacral the solar and the heart chakras were being fully open fully activated fully expanding and then today during the day it mirrored between 2:22 and 3:33 p.m. eastern time I felt those activations coming in again especially in the solar plexus it's like that turning that deep pulsing it's an uncomfortable feeling but we feel that expansion and it's signs in our body, in our sacred vessel of these activations and expansions and uploads, upgrades, downloads, however you want to look at it. So a lot of information coming in. And then, it, you know, with these feelings, these pulsings coming in, it's like, here we go. It's like, the lemma, I'm coming to join you. So I looked at, went on to the internet to make sure the world didn't end just yet. And it's funny, sometimes we need confirmations to make sure we're still in this realm. So I jumped on YouTube to make sure that um, we were still here. <laughs> and it popped up that a, an asteroid had struck the Earth in India, leaving a 20-foot hole, and it said night became day. So it's the, that shifting energy, night becoming day, dark into the light kind of energy. And also, I jumped on Facebook real quick to check the timeline to see where other our cis stars and bro stars of light were at. And our divine sister, uh, Victoria Lillenquist, posted a video last night. You can follow her on Facebook. She works with um, Ezekiel and Yeshua Christos. And the Merkaba ships come to her frequently, and she records them and her communication. Her last name, L-I-L-J-E-N-Q-U-I-S-T. And she posted right around that exact time that this Merkaba light ship that came to her, which is the Ezekiel's wheel, wheel within wheel, and was transmitting to her some codes and activations. And one of the things that came through is that we are there, you know, this energy of soon. We're right at the precipice. That's what's coming through for most of us star seeds and light workers. That we are right on that precipice of this great shift, great awakening, the event, whatever you want to call this quantum leap of consciousness. And with these potent and powerful energies coming in, we're experiencing these in many ways people may call ascension symptoms or activations. And when people think of the end times, I think the end of what? The end of suffering, the end of fear, the end of trauma, the end of separation and conflict. As we transition into that which is eternal, which is love, connection, life itself, true life. We know the true meaning of life. 
which is the light, which is the love that's within. So with this 217 energy of the today's kin in the Mayan calendar, I was contemplating that several months ago, I moved location of my business after almost 17 years from a street 219 to a street 217. And this 17 energy with this Q energy. So twice the Q, Q meaning many things, but especially Q from Quell. If you look up the lost gospels of Q from the Bible, Quell or Quelle is a source meaning source. And it's coming right on Q. <laughs> and it's such a huge movement that mediocre mainstream media such as the New York Times has to talk about it. Someone showed that they posted five times about this Q movement. But of course, they have to twist it to the negative, saying it's some kind of conspiracy or conspiracy theory or some kind of nonsense like that. But it's irrelevant. These are all just signs and symbols and synchronicities. We're not attached to any of these things. It's just more signs. And also today from... Brother of the Light, Jacob Israel, put out a video about this mysterious signal many of us have been hearing about coming from space that it's some kind of radio frequency signal that scientists are trying to decode and it's been pulsing to the earth every 16 days starting on September 16th. I think they record up to about October 31st. I haven't been able to research this. I've just been seeing people posting about it. And his, the video I put out was that, you know, the 16 code, the 16 energy. And he started seeing it in all these mainstream news articles and symbolisms. And then he looked up the 16th card of the tarot, the major arcanum. It's the, the tower card. And it came through to him that the, you know, the Tower of Babel, I mean, yeah, the Tower of Babel, Babylon, the coming down, the old, it's like the old guard or the old tower being toppled, being taken down to make space for the new. So this is kind of symbolic of what's happening in the collective now, the, the false energies of the separation programming, the construct of the false matrix is being taken down to make space for the divine matrix, which we'll talk more about that in a future video. So I looked up the 17th card, just out of curiosity with the Q, with all this Q energy and the 17, today being the 217, and also the 10 energy with the 55 harmonic, and then the Schumann was at 10 hertz today. And some interesting patterns on the Schumann charts. The 17th card is the star. We think the star is the sun. It's the sun, the sun of God, the solar, the solar plexus. And on the ceremony at Uluru in Australia, January 12th was reconnecting the solar plexus of Pachamama, Mother Earth, to the central sun. So we're all receiving those activations. So that's one of the synchronicities with what we're feeling with these solar plexus energies in our physical vessel as, as we're reconnecting all the grid lines, the ley lines, the dragon lines, as they connect through Uluru to our sun, to the central sun of the galaxy and the central sun of the universe, which is connected to all the suns, all the systems, the star systems throughout the whole manifestation through all time and space and all dimensions, all timelines merging here now into this one we'll get started with today's transmission the first from asara adams an update by adama of telos greetings beloved ones we are most joyous to connect with you here today and we send you our utmost love from the heart of telos as you are moving through your ascension journey you will feel the difference between love and the lack of love stronger and stronger. This is an important mechanism to assist you with your alignment with love. Every time you are feeling the lack of love in a thought, feeling, word, or action, you can choose love instead. We recommend to say in your mind or out loud, I am the love of my thoughts, feelings, words, and actions. I am 
the harmony of my thoughts, feelings, words, and actions. I am the peace of my thoughts, feelings, words, and actions. Say this as often as you can throughout the day, but most importantly in the beginning hours of your day to set the vibration of love. The more you are aware of this process, the more you are forging a new pathway towards the higher dimensions and with it your ascension. In addition, vast amounts of love are being sent to earth by all realms of light to assist all life to shift into the vibration of love and harmony. Any creation that is based on love is in alignment with who you truly are, love. The more you are making the conscious decision to choose love, the more you are connecting with your inner core of love. That attracts more loving and harmonious experiences into your reality, and it moves you closer to your new earth experience. We champion your victory in the light. Welcome home. We send you all so much love. You are carried on the wings of angels to bring forth the new earth. Know in your heart that you are always surrounded by your angels, ascended masters, guides, galactic families of light, and yes, also by your family and your friends in Telos and always will be. Dear ones, we are walking with you in this journey, and you are loved beyond measure, always. I am your brother, Adama of Telos. This is from teloschannel.com, and from Amanda Lawrence. Throughout the year of 2020, the ending of all our belief systems ends all suffering. To all our energetic fields of our form and non-form, this occurs one human at a time where each human energy increases exponentially, ripples out, dominoes effect through collective, energy ripples. Gaia assists us and we naturally assist her via our energy to her. All is a giving. Take your own time and own path within, no rush. There is no try or push your mind planning. But the opposite is true. The letting go and surrender to the now is our liberation. Now is where peace is present. Your divine power lies only in the present moment. The mind and its thoughts will take you out of the present moment. The mind's association and recall of past and future events takes us further away from the power of the present moment, away from what you are being gifted in the now. All you need to know is shown to you in the present moment, allowing this to be seen, heard, felt, then known holds the very gifts we searched for in the material world. It's all within, awaiting your own presence to it, being present with the eternal presence. 2020, there is just the grander design coming through. Through us, keep going. No heart is vulnerable, only a mind perceives vulnerability. Based on a memory of perceived emotional pain, surrendering to the heart is each one's liberation. And that's the liberation of our heart. One love from Amanda Lawrence. And that, with that energy coming through, with the liberation of the heart, a memory just came to me from earlier today, which connected me to a divine sister in the higher realms, our beloved Aunt Tina, the Greek angel of love. She was a friend's aunt, but she was like a divine sister to myself, who passed on New Year's Eve 2018, I say ascended on transitioning into 2018 2019 and she came through when i saw a license plate on a car in front of me it's funny how spirit can speak to us through things as mundane as a license plate or a sign or a billboard <laughs> or a radio signal and it said on the plate trunk up and she loved elephants and had all kinds of elephants and she always told me the trunk has to be up and I've had many synchronicities with that. And I'm surrounded. Uh, my grandmother always had this big gold-colored elephant with a trunk up. like It was made out of bronze or something, which I have in my library of Alexandria. In my bedroom, I'm surrounded by elephants in the four corners, the four directions. They're each a different color. The Many of these ancient cultures, I've seen it in India, from Egypt to Greece, as we know, many of these ancient cultures were connected throughout time, throughout history. And she would say that the trunk up on an elephant symbolized good luck. You could look that up online and see how that synchronizes with many cultures. So it made me connect with her energy, especially on this divine feminine day of Valentine's Day. She 
was one of the many blessed hearts that have ascended to assist us all from the higher realms, from the higher planes. Today from Elizabeth, Peru, this Valentine's Day is an 11 Master Day taking place on a Friday, the Day of the Goddess. There is so much cosmic feminine energy sweeping the globe, and it comes with some testing moments. From ElizabethPeru.com, today from the Zolkin Times, Kin217, Red Solar Earth. Solar is the name for the number 9, and its key words are intention, pulse, and realize. I'm always banging on about the power of solar days, and there we go with the solar synchronicity again being also red solar earth, the red of the heart center. We say in the Taoist that that's the heart organ, but you see like in the Indian, the Hindu tradition, the heart being the green in the electromagnetic spectrum. So we see this symbolized in many different ways. I know many times thing, things seem contradictory, but it depends on what perspective, what perception you're seeing these things from. So we say use your own discretion and take what resonates with you and leave what does not. So the power of solar days, in my experience, are the most powerful days in any wave spell. There is a great deal of energy available to tap into on these days, so make the most of it. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, navigation, and synchronicity. Today is about using your intention to evolve. Summon up your determination and get the job done. Don't think too small either or you'll waste a great opportunity. The guide today is the Red Skywalker, which represents space, wakefulness, and explore. Whenever Skywalker guides, he is encouraging us to do things we normally wouldn't. Think of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Be daring. It may be the very thing that aids your evolution. And it's like uh, Buckminster Fuller would say, live life like an experiment. Because in a way, in a sense, it is an experiment. It's a divine experiment. It is a grand experiment. And we learn as we expand into each moment, each day, each year. And that's what I always loved about the Mayan, Mayan calendar, that every day is a sacred, special day of many synchronicities. From Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Solar Earth, Kin 217, 14, February 2020. Happy Valentine's Day. 1422020 equal 1424 equal 524 equal 11 equaling 2. 14, Media Publicity Recognition. 5, Freedom Change Transformation. 11, Portal Doorway Duality. 2. Partnership Cooperation. Kin 217 equal 10. There's another 10. Energy, which is Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings. Very appropriately, today's code is a 2 for Couples, Romance, Twin Flames, and Partnerships, which is an 11 doorway to love. Today, we are pulsing waves of love throughout our planet to create transformational evolution. Another humongous day of planet Earth. Kin 217 is the Maya real-time galactic signature of Loydine Arwillis Balonic, the mother of the dream spell who is connected to the Venus cycles anchoring the waves of love, peace, and beauty through the cycle. Absolutely perfect synchronicity to have her overlight this momentous romantic day. Divine honor and blessings for her planetary service. Day 9 in the Red Moon Wave Spell of the Goddess. I'm really having a difficult time here with my words. And that's with these shifting energies. The linearity is going away as we move into the spatial, non-linear time. So we're doing the best we can, beloveds. And here we go. Day 9 in the Red Moon Wave Spell of the Goddess, who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our flow. Today we are realizing synchronicity through listening for the right timing in order to explore and expand into our true flow, that of union through divine unconditional love, the pulse of Mother Earth. Tone of creation, solar tone 9, operates in the spiritual realm, action, realizing power, pulse, essence, intention, 
The ninth day of the wave spell is the one that gives you the last push prior to manifestation. It is like the last push, the last pulse of birthing the new earth. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience, so we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in realizing our intentions. This is potent manifestation energy today. What seeds and intention are you pulsing into reality? A beautiful day to pulse love to each other and our Pachamama throughout all realms and dimensions. We can accomplish our collective earth mission of pulsing forth great tsunami waves of unconditional love today in order to manifest heaven on earth. Welcome to the fifth dimension of love, planetary kin. Enjoy this beautiful, gentle day, beloveds. Stop, listen, and connect and revel in the flow of synchronicity pulsing forth today, leading you back to the river of love. Today's question is how can we synchronize with the heartbeat and rhythms of Terra Nova, navigating into the divine flow of higher love pulsing throughout the cosmos? Let us all join hearts today and synchronize with our Pachamama to all dance to the beat of a new drum, sending forth tsunamis of love waves to unfold humanity, and our beloved Terra Nova, embracing this new era of peace, love, and unity, manifesting heaven on earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Divine blessings for the exploring, expanding, and navigating into a more synchronic, divine, and loving heart space. In La Kek Alakin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. And from the Dream Spell Journey by Valom Votan and Balonik, welcome, Harmonic 55 of the Crystal Matrix, unveiling the Telectonon's Crystal Prophecy. Today's Kin 217, Solar Earth, 9 Earth, opens the Dream Spell Harmonic 55 of the Crystal Matrix, which represents the path towards the fifth dimension of prophecy. The Harmonic 55 covers from Kin 217 until Kin 220. Harmonic 55, Crystal Matrix, number 55 equals 5D. Kin 217, Solar Earth, 9 Earth, represents the archetypal mother of the Galactic Maya Prophecy, Loydine Bolonik. She was born on 9 Kaban, 9 Earth, in the Maya real time, equivalent to Kin 217 in the Dream Spell. Precisely the analog power of Kin 217 is the Kin 22 of Loydine and the Dream Spell. Harmonically, the guide of Kin 217 is Kin 113, Solar Skywalker, which was the combined power of the solar galactic rotations of Jose and Loydine, Volum and Bolon Hick when they started co creating together in 1981. Jose Kin 1 plus Loydine Kin 112 equal Kin 113. Kin 217 gives birth to the next kin of prophecy, Kin 218. Kin 218, Planetary Mirror, 10 Mirror, codes the revelation of the new time. Time is the fourth dimension. This is well known Kin 218 at the discovery of the tomb of the King Pakal the Great, Pakal Votan, archetype. Therefore, Kin 218 and Kin 217 represent the primordial archetypes of the Telectonon prophecy, Pakal Votan and Bolonik, within the revelation of the Harmonic 55. Kin 219, Spectral Storm, 11 Storm, codes the crystal prophecy which is fully inscribed on the Zolkin matrix. Number 219 reads twice, 19 equal 19.19. .19. Kin 219 is coded 1911, seal 19, tone 11. Precisely, the 1919 crystal matrix contains an outer main matrix of 1919 and an inner matrix of 11 by 11. Therefore, it is coded 1911. The 19 matrix system contains and demonstrates the crystal pyramid hologram transmission of King Pakal and his queen, Zakabu. Kin 220, Crystal Sun, 12 Sun, 
This kin contains the direct ascension codes of Loidin Balonik, 12 Sun, and the second level ascension code of Valom Votan. The twin crystal suns are the messengers of the new time prophecy. The fifth dimension contains all the ascended masters. Therefore, the Harmonic 55 unveils the Telectonon crystal prophecy, which is the first dimensional shift from the fourth dimension of time towards the fifth dimension of prophecy. The visionary tool of the dimensional shift after the 2012 to 2013 is the revelation of the 1919 crystal matrix. And of course, that's the 1010 energy, 1010 mirror. Note, today's kin, 217, Mother of Prophecy, is synchronizing with 2, Chu Wen, 2 Monkey, in the Maya real time, which is coded 211, 2.11, tone 2, seal 11, then 2 times 11 is 11, 11, equal 22. Additionally, 2, Chu Wen, is equivalent to kin 171. There's the 17 and the 71 again, which contains 9 times 19 equal 171. 9 represents the 9 levels of the perfect Maya pyramid, whereas 19 is the crystal code. Therefore, 9 times 19 symbolizes the crystal pyramid hologram transmission. Aho! And the 9 levels of the Maya pyramid also symbolize the evolution of consciousness. Through the nine shifts or the nine quantum leaps, we are being beyond the ninth level, the highest level being unity consciousness. As we are activating for a quantum shift, a quantum leap in consciousness from Homo sapien into Homo luminous light body. 14 February 2020, NS1.32.8.8, 217 Red Solar Earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to evolve, realizing synchronicity. I seal the matrix of navigation with the solar tone of intention. I am guided by the power of space. Blessings in the light. So beloved beings of sacred new earth, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your visions, what you felt through this timeline shift we went through last night. This is the 14th. It is also 6.14 p.m. Eastern Time right now. So the 6 and the 14. I also wanted to let you know one of the other synchronicities was a post today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Yogi Nefertiti. Her uh, post she posted today on YouTube. Also about the collective timeline shift last night. And she experienced at midnight Pacific time. And she talks about synchronicities. Her child who is autistic had an experience also at midnight. And her neighbor with Tourette's. So you can listen to that. I'm looking up Yogi Nefertiti. It's titled Urgent Channeled Message 21420 Collective Timeline Shift. Which appeared on my uh, YouTube timeline today. So thank you for posting that. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and click the little bell next to subscribe. Also, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this transmission and leave a comment and share this with your network. We appreciate your support, your assistance, your connections, your love, your amazing comments, your love and light, angels of the light. Keep walking your path with heart, warriors of the light, and shining your light brightly into the night. We've got this. There's no stopping us. We are beyond the tipping point. Navigate deep into your heart space and activate all 12 strands crystalline DNA. I love you all. Namaste.